everybody. Welcome to this TechSoup hosted webinar with Monday.com. We are so excited you are here today because we're talking about grant management made easy and free on Monday.com. I love this. You're going to learn how to build meaningful and shareable grant reports in minutes with Monday.com. But before we get started, I want to show you how you can engage today. I know um, someone has already turned on the Q&A. I mean, the chat session for people that want to type in the chat, feel free to type in the chat. We'd love for you to put your questions in the chat. We have team members here and you can also put your questions in Q&A, but someone has already turned on the closed caption. That's what I was going to say. If you need the closed caption, just type on that CC button at the bottom of your screen and on Zoom and you'll be able to hear or read the closed captions. This is being recorded. You'll get the video recording within 48 hours, probably by tomorrow. We're happy to get it to you early. I'm going to go ahead and move out the way. But before I do, I want to know who has heard about Quad. If you have not heard about Quad with TechSoup, it is so awesome. I want to put a link in the chat in just a moment, but you want to check out Quad because it's a peer-to-peer -peer community here. It's a new thing at TechSoup. And the one beautiful thing about it, there are many beautiful things about it, but what I love about it is that you can have at least 10 members of your nonprofit, uh, 10 users, have access to all the courses within TechSoup. And there's so many more benefits with Quad. Again, I'm going to put the link in the chat in just a moment. But I'm going to turn this over to our speaker. I have um, our guest speaker here is Sarah George. She's a nonprofit assessment manager with um, Monday.com. And we also have Alex here with us today. I'm so excited that you're both here. Go ahead and take it away, um, Sarah. Thank you. Thank you so much. And yes, we're so excited to be here. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. So let me know when you're able to see that. Um, so we are here today to show you how you can easily manage your grants on monday.com. And yes, it is free for any eligible nonprofits out there. And I think it was Laura just posted in the uh, chat there that you've just received your monday.com plan for free. So we're very excited for you. And we're going to be showing you how you can get started and manage your grants on Monday. So as um, you know, my name is Sarah and I'm a, a customer success manager here at monday.com, but only working specifically with nonprofits. Uh, we have, Alex and I are managing um, a massive amount of nonprofits that are using monday.com, over 18,000. So we have a lot of experience in helping them get on board and start using Monday. I'll just pass it over to Alex um, so he can say hi, and Alex will be here um, answering your questions today as well. Yeah, thank you very much everyone for joining and thanks Sarah for the introduction. Uh, as you said, I'm Alex, um, the uh, other half of Sarah's in uh, our nonprofit success team. Um, so please join today's session. If you have any questions about the things Sarah's talking about, send me your questions in the Q&A uh, feature. Uh, and I'll be trying to answer as many, if not all of the questions that you post there. Thanks everybody. Thank you, Alex. So the agenda for today is we are going to be talking a little bit about Monday.com social impact vision and how that came about. We actually are going to be showing you how you can create an account on Monday.com. It is a very simple process and we want to take you through that. We do want to also show you how you can then create your uh, apply to get Monday.com for free. So you first have to create your account and once you've created your account, you can then apply and we'll be taking you through those steps. We're then going to be doing a high level overview of the grant management system and then deep diving into some of the key features of monday.com. And at the end, actually throughout, we're going to be checking in with Alex to see some of your questions that are coming up. And if we have time at the end, we'll also be answering any of your questions. So a very kind of like high level overview about what is Monday for anyone that does not know. Monday is um, a place where you can manage all of your work when it comes to um, your nonprofit. Today, we're going to be speaking specifically about grant management, but you can manage every aspect of your nonprofit. So, for example, manage your, uh, your grants, your donors, your volunteers. Alex built a template for volunteer management. I'll be showing you that at the end of the session as well. Um, basic uh, managing of your tasks, projects. Everything that you're doing within your nonprofit can be optimized and managed on Monday. Um, and I guess the kind of main thing that we want to get across here 
is the fact that everything is very customizable. So although you are going to be able to see a template that we've created to manage your grants today, we're also going to show you how you can make changes to that template so that it really suits your need for your nonprofit. A little bit about Monday as well. It was in um, June 10th of 2021 when Monday um, became public. And as part of that process, it was very important for the company to have some kind of social impact initiative set up. And this is where our 10, uh, 110 and 100% framework came from. And that is so for every $1 of revenue that the company makes, we're committed to giving up to $1 of revenue to Monday.com licenses to eligible nonprofits. So our nonprofit initiative is that you get 10 Monday licenses for free. Um, we also give 10% of our equity to charity. And my personal favorite is that 1% of the employee's time can be spent volunteering. So all of us within our team, in fact, all of us within Monday have uh, certain nonprofits that we volunteer for. And that is a really uh, nice thing about working at Monday. So now to how to apply to get Monday for free. So as I said, uh, the first step of this process is, is creating your Monday.com account. The second step is applying. And the third is enjoying the benefits of the free seat. I'm going to stop sharing right now and just pop into um, another window. And I'm going to take you through the process of how to create an account on Monday. Alex is also right now in the chat, is going to um, add a link that if you click on it right now, you're going to see on your screen exactly the same as what I'm going to see on my screen. So I can take you through it. Um, so give me a second. Yep. Yeah, so you should be seeing this, uh, the grant management landing page, and you're going to go here to get started. I'm going to challenge myself and I want Alex, if you have a stop clock in front of you to time me, and I'm actually going to try and create this account within less than one minute. So, um, I would like to see if anyone can do it before me. So go ahead and go through these steps as I'm doing it. The first one is it asks you to add your email address. Um, of course, and then your full name, and then your password, and the name of your account. So here I'm going to call this Protect the Bees. And then, oh, this is going to take up some of my time. Um, it asks you why, you, why did you come here today? So you should go ahead and click Nonprofit, and then add some information about your role, the number of people in your team, and in your company. Um, and where you would like to start working. So for this, I'm actually going to go and do um, grant management, but you can pick whatever is interesting for you, where you heard about us. And that is pretty much it. That is the process of how it is to create your account. And Alex, how long did that take me? Even with the small typo that came in at 47 seconds, you absolutely slammed the deadline. That is how easy it is. Wow. <laughs> All right. So 47 seconds. Let us know if you did that process with us now, how long that took you. And this last step is not mandatory for the sign up. But if you do have people um, within your team that you want to invite to your Monday.com account, go ahead and, and do that. You can invite your team now or I'm just going to say remind me later. So that is the first step that you need to take, which is creating your account on Monday.com. The second step actually, I'm just going to go through right now is how you can apply to get Monday for free. So just so you guys are very clear about the process. When you create your account on Monday, everybody, regardless if you're a nonprofit or not, is awarded 14 days for free, one for 14 days. So you have these 14 days to use Monday to play around, uh, play around with it. You have almost um, the maximum um, capabilities of Monday available to you within those 14 days. And then at the 14 day uh, mark, you decide if you want to pay for Monday or if, if you want to um, not use Monday anymore. But as you guys are nonprofits, you have the ability actually to apply to get Monday for free. So you can start working on Monday within these few days, but we do recommend you also in the process apply to get Monday for free. Um, and I'm going to take you through what that process looks like. And it's even easier and even quicker than apply than creating an account. So the first step for that is you go to this link, which is validate.poweredbypercent.com slash Monday. And Alex can share that in the chat as well. And if you haven't created your account on monday.com yet, then um, you can just pin this um, to your browser and come back to that once you have created an account. 
So it will take you to a page that looks like this. It asks you to um, tell us where your organization is registered, the full name of your organization, first name and last name, the contact details. Um, does your organization have its own website? If so, you add it. If not, you tick the box to say you do not have your website and you need to verify your email address so that your email address is associated to the nonprofit. And that is it. The last step is just accepting the terms and conditions. So as we said, a very, very quick process, both to create your monday.com account and to um, apply to get monday.com free. But you must make sure that this step here is adding your URL from your monday.com account that you've created. And that's why it's so important that you have to have your account created before. Otherwise, we're unable to uh, move your account to the free plan. So without further ado, I'll just stop for a second and see if there are any questions that have come up regarding the application process before we move in to the product itself. Yeah, so there's a question about uh, what to do if people already have an account and if that is possible to apply to get an existing account made free. Absolutely. So you just go to that same link that Alex is going to share or has already shared regarding the, the ability to apply. And you just add that, uh, your existing account where it asks for the URL and the same process happens. And just so you guys know, it's about a two to three day turnaround. So after once you've applied to get Monday for free, within two to three days, you know if you are eligible or not. And if you are eligible, you'll be sent an email and your account will automatically be moved on the back end into the free account. And just so you guys know, that is um, 10 free licenses. So your first 10 licenses of your account are absolutely free. And any additional license that you may need has a 70% discount. All right, so let me now um, share my screen here. One second. And we are gonna dive straight in to the Monday product. And actually, um, let me share my screen. All right, you should be seeing my monday.com screen here. Before we dive into this product, I would love to know a little bit more about you guys. And I'm gonna show you a really, really amazing feature that we have here in Monday that we call our forms feature. I've created this very, very simple, simple data collection survey to know from you guys what your favorite flavor of ice cream is. I'm copying this link and I'm adding it now into the chat here of the Zoom. And I would love you guys to just open this link and tell me what is your favorite ice cream. As you do that, we are gonna be here watching the results come in. So please let us know what is your favorite type of ice cream and then we will get started with the demo. All right, I can see that six people have already um, submitted seven. Looks like Vanilla is winning right now. Uh, so keep going, let us know. Oh, chocolate. So what the amazing thing that I'm showing you here is I just created one question, like a survey, a form, and you can see how this data is in real time coming in. And I'm able to see in my dashboard what what is, what is the, um, you know, the breakdown of the information that you guys are giving me. So I can see the other, oh, okay, other, is seems to be uh, winning over any of the flavors that I chose. So um, if you do have a, a favorite flavor that I did not mention here, go ahead and add that in the chat. We would love to know what your favorite flavor of ice cream is. Um, and again, this is just a really, you know, fun thing to show you guys how easy it is to collect data and see these reports created in real time not relevant right now to grant management anyway. So now I'm gonna go ahead and jump in to the grant management side of things. What you see here is what uh, is exactly what you will see if you um, go and create an account via the link that Alex sent in the chat here, you will actually uh, land and see exactly the same as what I am seeing here. You will have four dedicated boards that are automatically, let's say, downloaded into your monday.com account. The first board is what we call grants pipeline. The second grants providers. The third is a dashboard that shows you data in real time, like the one I just showed you with the ice cream. 
And the fourth one is a step-by-step -step guide of us walking you through the process of how you can actually go ahead and get things set up like what we're about to show you today. So this is just a little bit of extra support that Alex and I provide our nonprofits with when it comes to Monday. So I'm gonna go through each of these boards individually um, now and just to show you how we have things set up like um, out of the box. So within our um, first board, which is the grants pipeline board, here we have, and what you're looking at right now is what we call in monday.com a board, almost like you would see a spreadsheet. And here we have groups. So I have two groups here within my board. I have groups for grants that have been submitted and groups for grants that are being actively worked on. This is a very clear way to break down um, these two different types of work that's required. One is a grant that's been submitted, so you're just waiting to hear back, whereas the other work technically needs to be done for that. We also have statuses to represent where these grants stand within your team. So here I can see that this is a new grant that's come in, this is a new grant, and this is a grant that someone is actually actively working on. So again, this is a really important one in terms of understanding the current situation. We have an ownership column here. The ownership column is all about accountability, knowing who is the point of contact, who should you reach out to, who should you ask in case you have any questions about that specific grant. We have the due date, which is actually something that seems pretty simple, but is quite important when it comes to grant management, because of course you do not want to miss a deadline when you are working on grants. And then the amount. The amount, obviously a very important piece here. And also this allows you to potentially prioritize. So if you may be a small team, one person working on all the grants, or even if you're a big team and you have so many grants coming in, having all of these things together, the due date, the amount helps you really prioritize which grants you wanna work on and which ones you wanna work on first. The last column here is a column that is called grant provider. This information in this column, as you can see by the little blue edge here, is actually information which is coming from our second board here. So we do have a way in Monday to connect information. So if you have one board dedicated to one thing and you have another board dedicated to different information, but there is some kind of connection between these two um, data points, then Monday has the ability to actually connect this information so you can see it in the retrospective boards. This is what we have here. This column is the name of the grant provider. So although this dedicated monday.com board is actually looking at the grants themselves that are going through this process, each of them is probably um, has been released by a different um, grant provider or a different foundation. So this uh, helps you keep track of who is the foundation that actually this grant has been released by. So if I go now into the grant provider group, this is almost like a, um, a phone book or a um, database of all of the different um, organizations or foundations that often are presenting new grants. So this is a good way for you to keep track of the grant provider. And also it's a good way for you to know as the individual grant, who is the grant provider? Because if you over time are working with the same um, providers or same uh, foundations, you're able to report on that and maybe focus your energy on those specific grant providers. So this feature in monday.com is called um, connecting board and mirroring. And it's also um, a really common feature in Monday. If I now go to the grant providers group here, it's pretty similar. You have the name of the provider, the name of the foundation. This lets you see what grants it is that they've released. And then we have the contact information here. The dashboard is a place where you can start building out reports. So here you have the grants by status, new, working on it, awarded, and you have the total amount awarded. All of the information that you see here, and this is also uh, important due dates of the grants, all of the information that you see here is completely synced in real time to the other boards. So for example, as you can see here now, we have two grants in new, one in working and one in awarded. If I go back here and I change the new to working on it, and now I go back into the dashboard, I will see now that we have only one in new, two working on it and one awarded. So they're all connected to the same information. 
Um, I'm going to actually go ahead and start adding some grants and take you through the process of what that would look like. Before doing that, I do want to stop and see if Alex, there's any questions that have come up that we should address. Yes, there are. Um, one really interesting question is somebody asked if there are any restrictions to using the free account versus the, versus the paid account, uh, because quite often that software has a bit of a catch and there are some things hidden behind paywall. All right, so um, great question and definitely something that we get a lot. So um, the first 14 days when you create an account, you have um, almost the, the maximum capabilities of features in one day, but of course it's only for 14 days. Once those 14 days are over, there's different tiers of accounts that Monday offers. The free nonprofit account that we offer 10 seats for free on is what we call the pro account, which is one below enterprise, which is the highest level account in Monday. It isn't actually just pro, it's the pro account plus some added enterprise features. So actually um, the free account, it isn't, it isn't that the account is free, it's that the account is a pro plus account, but we as the social impact team in Monday are offering it for free. So actually it is a it is the one step below the highest step in terms of different um, accounts in Monday. And it, it's completely um, unlimited in terms of time frame. You know, it isn't, you don't need to reapply year after year. Once you've been awarded as eligible and you meet the criteria of what it means to be eligible, then the account is free for you. Amazing. And everything Sarah is showing today is completely free on that plan. So you're in good hands. Yes. And then maybe just one final question that people are asking if they already have an account, is there any way that they can get access to the stuff that you're showing right here? Yes. So I will show you how to do that a little bit uh, later in the webinar. Uh, we do have templates. So if you already have an account and you haven't gone and created an account right now, I will show you how you can get this template um, downloaded into your monday.com account, as well as some other templates, like I mentioned earlier, we have templates for volunteer management, um, events management, so many, and I will show you how to access those later. Does that make sense? Cool. All right. So let's say now I'm going to take us through the process of how we would go and manage a grant in Monday. So the first thing I would want to do is I would want to go in here, here and add the, the grant provider, the foundation that is actually releasing this grant. So this is going to be called Protect the Bees. And this is going to be um, the name of the foundation. And I'm going to go here and add the name. I'm just going to copy and paste this number to save time and add the email address. So I've just inputted information of a new um, foundation that is about to release a grant in the area of interest for me and my nonprofit. So now I've had that there within the grant provider, I'm gonna go back into my grants pipeline and I see that they have in fact released a new grant that is called Queen B. And this is going to be the grant that I, you know, we work on preserving um, the life of these endangered bees. And it's really important for me to uh, get this grant. So as you can see, without doing anything, all I did is I added the name of the, the grant itself. And as you can see, it automatically set the status to new. And that is one of our monday.com automations. Another thing it did that you might not have noticed is it populated automatically three sub items here. Now we know that when you're uh, working with grants all day, every day, there are some repetitive tasks that you are doing again and again and again. We have kept this pretty generic. So every time a new line item or a new grant is added, it will automatically set the status to new and it will populate these three sub items. I'm gonna go ahead and change this because I'm gonna call it letter of intent. I'm gonna say reporting. And oh, I need to move my Zoom link. Um, sorry, are you guys seeing half my screen? Alex, are you seeing half my screen white? Yes, we see half. Yes, we do. Okay, let me stop sharing one second. Just refresh, sorry about this guys. Maybe we can ask a quick question in the meantime, wasn't, Dealing with my technical errors. Um... 
Uh, yeah, sure. We can definitely ask a question from the chat. So we have a quick question here about uh, integrating with external software. Um, there is a integration center on monday.com and you can find dozens and dozens of software there, uh, including, you know, the most popular, biggest software that there are. Google, for example, all the different Google Suites, Google Calendar, Outlook. Um, but the great news is that even if the software that you want to integrate with isn't there in the integration center, you can always use third-party integrators, for example, Zapier or Make, to connect basically any software in the world with Monday.com. Uh, so it's, uh, it's a pretty easy process to follow. Perfect. Thank you, Anna. And I'll show you actually how to do some of those integrations as well in a second. Um, so you guys hopefully are seeing my full screen here. So as I was saying, automatically we add a new grant and the status is set to new and it populates these three sub items. If you have these repetitive steps that you know you're doing every single time, you can even create the automation to not add generic sub items, but add the actual name of the sub items as well. So here I have a letter of intent reporting and submitting the grant itself. I'm gonna go and mark all of these by box selecting and saying I'm working on it. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna assign people from my team um, regarding uh, to make sure that we have ownership and also the um, deadline as well. So this is October 29th. So I'm gonna go and put that in for the 17th. Reporting will be for later and submission will try and get that in. If it is for the 29th, we'll try and get that in a couple of days early just to make sure we don't miss anything. I also, um, I'm thinking about the letter of intent. And maybe, um, although this is an owner, Iran, from my team, maybe he does want other people from the team to be able to collaborate with him on this. So I'm going to go ahead here into the file column, and I'm actually going to create a new doc here that I can start writing my letter of intent and collaborating with my team here. So I'm going to call this, um, I'm going to call this, draft a letter of intent. And then I'm gonna go ahead and say mission, um, budget, and all the things that I would want to do within my letter of intent. I could also go ahead here and actually um, notify someone from my team, for example, Alex, who is in charge of speaking about where that money would be sent and say, please um, outline here the plan. Um, for how we would spend the money. And as I go ahead and make that communication, Alex will automatically be notified. And this allows us within this one document to start communicating, collaborating, and working in one place collaboratively on that letter of intent. So it doesn't have to be in, in another, another place. You don't have to go through your emails to try and find it or the most up-to-date versions of it. Everything is kept here and it's nice and clean and easy to find. Um, so now I'm gonna just roll up those sub items into my high level item. And I'm gonna mark myself as the main owner at the deadline that we said would be the end of October. And here I'm gonna add the value of the grant, which is $10,000. Because I previously added the grant provider in that second board, I'm gonna go here. First of all, I'll show you how that looks now. There's nothing associated to this um, foundation. I just know that there is a foundation called Protect the Bees and I know the contact people from the foundation. But now they've released a grant that I'm interested in. I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna collect, uh, con connect the Protect the Bees Foundation. And now if I go back into my grant providers board, I'll see that grant that has been launched by this foundation. So that is how these two boards are connected and information is traveling between the two. So now I'm in my um, back in here and I've decided, okay, I'm ready and I'm gonna go ahead and submit this um, um, grant. And as you can see, we have another automation that brings that down automatically in our submitted uh, group here. So I also see that I have this new grant here that is associated, I'm gonna remove myself here and actually put Alex. I see that there is a new grant here that Alex is the owner of and it the due date has already passed and it was a big amount of money. And I want to understand how comes we didn't move forward with this. And this is where we have the ability to start a conversation in the item itself. So I can go here and I can say, Alex, hey, 
I saw we didn't end up moving forward with this grant. Please, can you let me know why? And then again, Alex will be given a notification. You can set up the notifications as you like. So maybe he'll be get, be given a notification within the monday.com board. You can receive an email if you want. So it really depends on how you want to communicate and how you want to be notified about all of these things. And the, the level of notification is really quite extensive. So you can really make it work for the way that you like to work. Um, so I also wanted to just um, stop for a second and speak about customization. So one of the amazing things about Monday is you have a lot of things out of the box like this template, but you also might look at this and think, no, actually I wanna change things. How do I change things? I don't wanna work exactly like this. So the first thing I wanted to show you is how you can go here to add a column and go to our column center. This shows you all of the different type of information you can hold here within a column. So you can define the priority of the grant. You can add labels to the grant. Of course, the docs, I showed you how to do that. Text, long text. Um, there are so many, a, a text box location. There are so many things that you can add here. Um, so it is really about you defining exactly what works for you. The other thing that I um, wanted to show you is that right now we have two groups here. We have active and grant submitted. But maybe your workflow and the way you work looks a little bit different. So maybe I want to actually split, split these and go ahead here and add this to awarded. And then I want to go here, grab that awarded and move that down to the group awarded. I can do that manually or I can create an automation to do that. So I'm actually going to go ahead and move that back up to the group submitted here. And now I'm going to go into my automation center here we're into power ups and where it says automations. So I'm gonna click here into my automations and I'm gonna create a custom automation. This automation, I'm gonna say when status changes and I click on status here, every time you see in the automation center an underlining thing, it means you have to actually select which status, which um, piece of information you're speaking about here. So this was underlined, so we pick status. And this is underlined, we want to pick awarded. So when the status is changed to awarded, then we want to move item to the group called awarded. And we want to create this automation. So now let's go ahead and let's change this to awarded. And what should happen is that should automatically go down to the awarded table. I also want to add a dedicated table here for declined because maybe I wanna keep that separate. Um, so you can go ahead and do that. This is just examples of how you can make changes to this monday.com board very, very easily. Also, maybe you don't wanna call it active grants, you wanna call it pending. So you just go ahead, you click on it and you make the change. There are so many ways that you can make this work for you. The other thing that you can do is you can go on here and you can go to edit labels and you can change the name of the labels. You can add new labels, change the color. So again, the customization piece here is a really, really big piece. We know that one size doesn't fit all, especially when it comes to nonprofit. So it's important that you guys really understand that you can make changes so it fits the needs of your nonprofit. I'll stop there and just see if there are any questions about the kind of like this general flow. And then I'll show you guys how to actually create an integration with, for example, Gmail, um, and then create automatic emails based on status changes as well. Any questions there, Alex? Uh, yeah, we have a couple of questions, but I think you're probably going to get to them about the dashboard, which is probably coming up, am I right? The da yes. Um, something, are you guys still seeing my screen? And temporarily not, we just see you. Okay. There are a few technical issues, one second. Yes, the dashboard, I'm gonna be speaking about that in a second. So, so just people asking about the widgets and how we can add a new one. I mean, all right. thank you. All right. So in terms of the, um, so before we do that, I'm just gonna quickly show you also um, a quick um, way of integrating with a third party such as Gmail. So what I wanted to do here is, for example, I am 
um, really excited that we are getting grants awarded. And instead of um, manually uh, reaching out to my team, sending them an email, sending them a Slack message, letting them know that this has been done, I actually want that to be to happen automatically. I want to automatically let my manager know that a grant has been awarded. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to go back here into our um, Power Ups um, automations, and I'm going to create another type of automation here. And I'm going to say, once again, when status changes, and I'm going to say to awarded, then what do I want to do? I have so many options of what I can do. I can send an email. I can um, specifically move the item to another group. I can send a notification, assign people specifically just for that one thing. There's so many things that I can do. What I want to set up right now is actually sending an email. So I'm going to go ahead and connect my email address. And here I'm going to say, great news. Um, grant awarded. So what I can do here is actually really cool. I'm, I don't just have to write like a manual text. This is going to be automatic. So what I mean by that is anytime a grant is awarded, this email is going to be sent. And because it's going to be sent anytime a grant's awarded, we need to make sure that the information is specific to the grant itself. So how do we do that? The way that we can do it is by using these auto-populated fields. So what that means is, is I can say, great news, grant, and then I'm going to pull the name of the grant from the monday.com board. So it might be grant A, it might, might be grant B, it might be the queen B grant that I just added. It doesn't matter, it will automatically populate based on that grant itself. So you don't have to make that change each time. So great news, grant uh, Queen B um, has been awarded for, and then we can go ahead and add the grant amount. So again, it might be $100, it might be $1,000, whatever it is, it doesn't matter because it's putting it dynamically from the monday.com board. Um, so you can define whatever uh, text you want here. So once you've done that, you go ahead and you um, say who you want to send it to. So I'm going to just for now send it to myself. And then you go to create automation. What is really, really cool about this is once that's done, I'm actually going to go ahead here and I'm going to press um, awarded. And what we're going to see is automatically that email is going to be sent. And you can see this little blue box here with that three. I'm going to come here and I'm going to see great news. Grant name one has been awarded for 90,000. So I forgot to add the dollar signs. You can, of course, go ahead and add that. But this is um, an, a way that you can see all of the correspondence that you have back and forth uh, regarding these automations. And we do have actually another feature here where you can go to what we call email and activities which is where you can actually have back and forth conversations as if you're within your own email or your you know, Gmail or Outlook account. Um, and then you can, oh, goodness. No. Um, and then you can um, start replying to emails within the Monday UI and you're able to see if someone has read that email. So it actually is a really cool feature as well to have all of your communication in one place. Um, all right, so that is an example of how you can create an um, integration with a third party. And I will just show you, if I go now to our integration center, this gives you some a list of the other third parties that we are integrated with. We are always working on new third party integrations as well. So um, if you don't see here something that is um, a third party that you're working with, you do have the option that Alex spoke about earlier, which is using kind of like the connecting piece maybe with Make or Zapier to be able to make that connection between Monday and the other um, technology partners that you're using. So now I just wanted to go here into the grants dashboard. So here, as you can see, we have the grants by status, we have the total of grants awarded. This information is automatically pulling from the grants pipeline. And the way that you create new widgets is you go here to add widget and you have, for example, a number widget, you have battery when it's talking about project management and the process, Gantt charts, you have file gallery, all of that you can have. But let's say we want to create a grant. Automatically, you go here, you see that one has been created for you um, and I can go to settings. 
Here is where you get to pick if you would like to see it as a pie chart, as a line chart, you know, as long as it's relevant to the information that you are working on. And then of course, you are able to find define exactly what data it is that you want to show. So you have here, right now we're showing the status column. You can really pick all of the different data points that you wanna see. And then within seconds, these reports are created. Um, I wanted to just go back now to the grant provider um, board and show you actually how we can um, go ahead and import data through um, the upload from spreadsheet feature. And then we will be able to see also how that affects the data that we have here within the table. Before I do that again, Alex, is there any questions on your side? Yes, absolutely. Um... A great question is about the number of seats and if people are able to add anyone from maybe outside of their account, if there's a way to have that not count against the 10 free seats that they're already given. All right, excellent question. So I can show you exactly how to do that. So as you guys, um, if you're eligible and you do get to receive the 10 monday.com licenses for free, uh, you have what we call kind of unlimited access to invite guests to your monday.com boards. So what is the difference between um, a guest and a board owner? So you have 10 free seats um, if you're eligible, and that gives you access to the whole, um, all of the workspaces that you have within your account. So maybe your main workspace, any other information you have here. You do, of course, have the ability to create private workspaces where only you have access to, despite the other nine people that have monday.com licenses. And you actively would invite other people from your team who already have a licenses to your private board. So that's um, one thing you can do. In terms of adding guests, you need to make sure here that the board type is shareable. So by default, the board type is open to everyone within your organization. So all of the 10 users have access to it, like you would have with this grant provider board. If you want to keep that as private, you're able to move it to private where you can add people from your organization, like I just mentioned. In order to add people as guests, you need to change the board to shareable. Once you change the board to shareable like that, you go to where it says invite. And now you have two options. You have the options to add board members, so that is anyone who, any of your 10 license holders can be added here as a board member, or you can add a guest. So adding a guest here is anybody outside of your organization. So that could be clients, freelancers, anyone that is volunteering towards um, the work that you're doing. And you just need to have their email address and you can add them directly like this. They will only ever have access to this specific board. So if you do want someone to have access to multiple boards as a guest, that is okay. But you do have to actually actively invite them to every single board that you want them to be a part of. In terms of data, um, maybe you're okay with this board being public and that you have the ability to, for other people outside of your nonprofit joining. But maybe you have information here that is sensitive. And although you want them to come and work within this board, you don't want them necessarily to have access to everything. So you can actually go here and go to settings and go to restrict column view. That means when you do that, only you have access. You're able to actively add people from your team. So people from the 10 seats to have access, but anybody that is coming from outside, any one of the guests, coming onto this board won't have access to this information. So you are able to hide sensitive information from critical um, data, from critical boards that you need people from outside to have access to, but you don't want them to have access to that specific data. So that is absolutely something you can do. And um, I will just go ahead and unhide that now. Did that, do you think that answered the question, Alex? Cool, perfect. Was there any any other questions coming up there? Uh, no, I think we can continue for now. All right, perfect. So what I wanted to uh, mention to you guys is that we have here 
um, as you sign up to Monday, you're going to automatically get this template and it has this data in it. It has grant name one, grant name two, grant name three, four, with all of this kind of like fake data, just so that we can give you an example of how this would look. But ultimately, you need to remove all of this data and bring in your own data because you're going to be working with the, the data from your nonprofit. So I did want to actually go ahead and I wanted to show you how you should um, how you can go ahead and upload data to Monday really quickly. So the first thing you want to do is bog select and go to delete. Um, I'm also going to delete this group. So you go ahead and you delete that in, in once. You can bulk up to 500 items at one go. So even if you have a couple of thousand items within your monday.com board, and by the way, the restriction of items in one board is 10,000. Um, I think it is potentially... Uh, meant to be growing but right now it is 10,000 so you can uh, bulk select up to 500 and delete them in a couple of goes so now I have an empty board and what I really want to do is I want to go ahead and I want to add information from a spreadsheet before we do that we have a question for you and you can just add a yes or a no in the chat here I'd like to know do you feel like you guys are uh, and the way that you manage your work right now within your nonprofit? is um that's why i think the first question i'd like to ask you is do you manage your nonprofit via spreadsheets so if you could just give us some indication in the chat with a yes or a no if you are managing your nonprofit by spreadsheets and alex if you could let me know kind of what are the answers coming through Are we getting mostly yes or mostly no? We get a lot of less yeses. Uh, a eighty percent yes. A couple All of right. spread, spreadsheet hells or a ridiculous number of spreadsheets. Um, QuickBooks was one of them, uh, and a couple of people I'm happy to see are already using Monday.com, which is great. Ah, very nice. All right, so yeah, so I think the common thing that we often see is the um, kind of nonprofits using spreadsheets. So I think the main question is here is. Again, like again, you can say yes or no, but do you feel like your data is structured and the integrity of the data is in a way um, is set up well enough to be able to migrate that data into a software like monday.com? So do you feel like you have it um, organized well enough in a way that you could just take your spreadsheet, download it and just bring it into Monday like I'm about to show you? So a big variety of answers here. Um, yes, no, some of it, definitely not, definitely yes. All right, cool. A full the spectrum. A full spectrum. All right, cool. Thanks, Alex. So the reason why I'm asking that is because Alex and I are dedicated to really help nonprofits get onboarded and use Monday. Some of the work we do is even before Monday even starts. So we do have a lot of webinars. We have... Uh, daily, weekly, and sometimes daily uh, webinars and also office hours where people can just come and drop in and ask questions. And sometimes we're also doing um, kind of educational sessions on even how to clean up your data and make your data ready to bring it into a software like Monday. So that is also something that we are dedicated to doing as well. What I wanted to show you here is how you would even go about bringing in your data into Monday. I'm going to do it um, using a pretty simple spreadsheet just to give you guys the idea of how this can happen. So this spreadsheet that you can see here has four columns on it. We have the name of the foundation that is offering the grant and the contact information, the name, the phone number, and the email. As you can see, these are four columns that are pretty identical to the columns that we have here. The name of the foundation, the contact name, the phone, and the email. It's quite unlikely that you guys have the exact um, same information here that I'm showing you. So what you would need to do is you would need to, if you would want to bring your data into a pre-made monday.com board, is actually have here all of the columns that you have in your monday.com board. Because ultimately, what we're going to be doing is matching the information in your spreadsheet, column by column, to the columns and the information that you have in Monday. 
So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just press download here. I'm going to go back into Monday. I'm going to go to the three dots here on the top right. And I'm going to go to more actions in fault organizations. It's going to ask me to find the Excel, the spreadsheet that we want to bring into Monday. And then it's going to ask me which of the columns from the spreadsheet do I want to be the first name in my Monday.com board. So I know that my first column in Monday is actually uh, the name of the foundation. So I'm going to pick name. And then here, this is where the matching happens. So because the spreadsheet we're using is has four columns and those four columns already exist in the monday.com board, the system has auto um, automatically matched them. So it's matched the contact information in our um, Excel or spreadsheet to the column in Monday that is called contacts. Same thing with the phone number, it's matched the phone number to the column in Monday called the phone number, and it's matched the email to the email. So everything to the left-hand side of this um, uh, uh, page that you're seeing are the columns in your spreadsheet, and everything in the right-hand side are the columns in your monday.com board. So if you have more columns in your spreadsheet than you have in your monday.com board, that information is gonna be considered unmapped, and it won't be brought into Monday. So it is really important that if you want to bring all of your information from your spreadsheet into Monday to make sure you have a designated column for that information to go to. Once you've done all of this mapping, I go to next. I want to create new items and I'm going to start the import. And I'm almost going to guarantee that this is going to happen within about three seconds. Let's see. Oh, and there you go. Okay, cool. So all of these organizations, obviously this is a very small data set. So it took really two seconds to happen. If you have hundreds and hundreds and 10,000, it can take a minute or two, but tech, uh, generally speaking, this happens really, really quickly. So I've gone ahead and I've now brought in all of that data into Monday, all of this, um, the matching, I can actually go here to my grants pipeline and I can say that grant number three belong to organization number three, and I can go ahead back into here and then I'll see that one is mapped. So this process of the mapping, like I just showed you, foundation three released grant number three, that matching you can also do automatically. Um, it's a little bit um, too advanced for this session, but if you um, do apply to get monday.com for free. This is definitely something that Alex and I will take you through step by step, that automatic matching. So you don't have to go and do that manually. Um, yeah, I'll just stop and see Alex, any questions regarding that upload of data? And if that, I'll, I'll check to see if there's questions and then I'm gonna show you another way that you can do that as well. Uh, no questions about that specifically. Um, people have updated it in the past, some haven't. Um, there's another question though about uh, how easy it is to customize the headings uh, of boards and columns. I don't know if you want to cover that or save it for a little bit later down the line. Uh, yeah, definitely. So I'll just finish the upload of data just to show you because there are, I guess there are four ways to bring data into Monday. And I just want you guys to be uh, quite clear about that. The first way is to do what I just showed you. It's to actually have the structure of your monday.com board, like we have here, the name of the foundation, the contact name, the phone number, and the email. So having that structure already set up, having a similar structure within your spreadsheet, uploading your spreadsheet and mapping that data. So that is a way that you could do that. Another way you can do it is is not having a monday.com board and structure set up at all. And just going to this blue dot here and going to import data. This allows you to bring data in from multiple places and it will just pretty much um, create a monday.com board almost as a duplicate from your spreadsheet. Because there aren't designated columns that you're uploading it to, you don't have to do the matching. You can just bring all of that data in as it is. So that is the second way. 
The third way is manually going ahead and mapping in that data one by one, which uh, we're here for efficiency, so that isn't what we recommend. And the fourth way is having some kind of automation with a third party. Um, and that is also something that Alex and I can talk about um, in our sessions uh, for Monday for nonprofits. So they're the four ways that you can bring data into Monday. Regarding customizations, yeah, absolutely. So for example, um, maybe you want to add here instead of due date, you can add um, just date. I mean, a very simple change, but anything that you have here, you can just go ahead and delete and add whatever you want. So it is completely customizable in terms of the name. Um, you can change it. As I said before, you do have this kind of ability to go ahead. Let's say I do want to actually add a priority column. So I go there, I add the priority column and I'm able to say high, medium, low. But let's say I wanna change high here to um, red. I wanna change medium to amber and low to green. So of course, everything, the colors, I can even you know, change the name of each of these labels. It is all completely customizable as well as the groups. So, you know, the client, well, you saw me adding the awarded and the client, but you can change the name of the groups completely. So it represents your workflow and the way you're working. So the customization piece is really, really um, critical in terms of your confidence in coming to Monday, because it's important that you're using your terminology and the way that you're used to working. Um, before we um, go, the other thing I really wanted to show you is our template center. So today we spoke specifically about managing your grant pipeline, being able to have a bird's eye view of all of your grants. As you can see here, those that are pending, submitted, awarded, declined, having that automatically connected up to this dashboard. Here we have just three widgets, but you can of course go and add as many widgets and as many data points as you need. And all of this information is automatically connected through. If you are looking to manage other things on Monday and not necessarily just your grants or maybe not your grants at all, you can go to our template center. This on the left-hand side will show you all of the templates we have. These templates are actually created by monday.com employees. If they have a really interesting use case or a very common use case, something that comes up again and again with their clients, they um, take a generic version of that and they create a template. We actually have so many here and it's um, from all over areas of business. But what we do have at the bottom left here is a nonprofit dedicated section. If you are on the nonprofit plan, you have access to all of these, to every single one. You can go into the design one if you want. You can build an HR system here by using these templates. But we have just selected a couple of the ones that we think are really important for nonprofits. For example, the one that I mentioned before, which is the one that Alex built regarding volunteer registration. Um, you can go, you can click on that, and it will be downloaded into your account. Regarding grants management, this is the one that we showed today. So anybody who asked before about um, how do I get access to this template if I don't create the account today, this is how you can get access to it. You go here to the template center and you click on um, grant management here and you go use template. I will actually just show you how that looks because I'll, I'll go ahead and delete um, all of these here. So you can see that my account is empty from anything regarding grant management. I'll go here, choose from template, and I'll go to the grant management center and I'll use and I'll click on use template. This will take um, a couple of seconds, depending on how many boards, how many connections, how many features the template has. You just give it a second to load and then you will see it under your workspace in your monday.com board and there you go this is the exact same feature exact same template that i started with today you have the grant pipeline the grant provider the dashboard and the getting started so all of that is here and that just took a minute to upload into your account and um, it's under the the group grant management so feel free again to go to this template center look around see if there is anything that you think is interesting and things that you can uh, really um, kind of automate and become more efficient on by using these templates. Uh, they're really here just to help.
before we go, I do would love Alex to drop one more time into the chat that link. So if you guys haven't yet created an account on Monday, as I said, like this is not a sales pitch. This is a product that we are offering for free, really just to help nonprofits um, kind of scale the impact that they're do that you're doing with your um, and beneficiaries and all the amazing work that you're doing. So um, Alex, if you can add that uh, link in the chat and I'll just stop one more time and see if there was any other questions before we go. Yeah, I think one question which has come up two or three times is if it's easy to export. You showed how easy it is to import from uh, Excel, yeah. but is there a way to export money.com? Yes, it is as easy as it is to import. Once again, you go to these three dots, you go to more actions and you go to export board to Excel. You can decide if it's just the updates, just the sub items, you know, whatever, sorry, to include updates or include sub items, you go to export. And again, it takes, um, you know, no time at all. And it looks a little bit like this. Oh, you, you can't see that one second. Share my screen. It looks like this. And that's perfect. Like that was so fast, huh? Amazing. Thanks, <laughs> All right, guys. Well, um, thank you so much. And um, I really hope that it is helpful for you. And if you do have any questions, I'll just once again show you my screen because I would like to um navigate you guys to our Monday for nonprofit page where you can learn a little bit more about our eligibility and also about some of the resources that we have available to you. As I said, Alex and I are actually um, doing office hours and webinars uh, weekly. So we would love to see you guys there. Thank you all for joining. It's been great. Thank you so much.